talking about the fellow who went to North Carolina. He left North Carolina because they organized. And years later, he came down there to talk to me about the union. They was going to vote whether they wanted one or didn't want one. I said, now, Mr. Mark, I know you left North Carolina and County being organized. Uh, they were organizing. And I know that his daddy had worked at the mills, but his daddy was dead at the time. But I said, we do need a union. And if we hadn't, if they hadn't had one in Winston, South Carolina, and these other mills, we wouldn't have got the raises that we've got since then, since they organized. Okay, now we're going to keep running this tape, see if you recognize anybody else. There's somebody with a stick. Well, that's, a, that's been in there for a while. I told you that looked like a lady. I think they say it is. See if you recognize your sister in this group that's coming up here now. Probably be right out front. I no, I was on the back. Hmm. That looks they brought that's us her right there. They brought us back to open. Point it out. No, it's on the other side of this one. Oh. You need to go back? Mm hmm. It's out. Uh, The dark headed one right there on the end over, over on the right. That's that of May. The second one? Mm hmm. See, he had first, right. second, third. No, this way. You see Malta, yeah, Minnie? That one. That Malta, one. Mm -hmm. Minnie, either okay, one. Okay, that one right there. That's that of May. Right there. Mm hmm. See. Do you see dark Malta hair. or Minnie? I wonder if you could. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Would you mind? going through and pointing with your finger for your sister. This one right here. Do it again and point it out. Tell it, show, show Adam May where she is. If you see it, see it. It's right here in there. Mm -hmm. Your first from the left. Who's on the other side? Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure who the other, who the other three are, really. That could be a Horton, but I'm not positive. They had to move out about three or four trucks. Do you remember the? I never. Let's go back. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the big woman, the older woman who was with you here? No, was that name? No. Listed? Maud Granger. Well, Maud? That could be. Not the second one, Maud. Many, have been many. My, her Maud. sister was larger than Maud. But now there's a woman from Sergeant. You're talking about the one, the second from left there. Yes. From my left. Yes. These are just. Now that is that a male again, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. How she looked to you? <laughs> she looked about as ugly as I am now. She hadn't changed that much. I told really. you I never did make a good picture. But now Virgil wasn't it. I can't get up with that one. My brother, I had a brother that worked down here, but he was This is a Horton. I'm not sure which one, which Horton it is. I believe he's called it. They look too much like a Libby. Maybe it's one that may have to drape. It's tall, too. Would you tell us about your sister again and tell us how she looks to you, please? <laughs> She looks good on there to me. Let's 
Captain Bell wanted to shut me up. I said, well, I read the newspaper every morning. They're not telling the whole story. So what do you mean by that? I said, well, you know, I don't believe she's on this first line. It, I, that's her head between these two women right here. Can you see? It, it looked like she was with them a while ago in line, but she looks like she's just a step behind them. You see what I mean? It's, well, well, we well, weren't now she looks in line with them. See, they had that, they put bubble in that building. So she's going to another scene. But now, the, the, the woman they sent out there to be with us was a fat woman. That's probably her. I don't remember any fat woman. Well, she's she supposed to be truck. with us, but her name's supposed to be in that article, too. One of the things that surprised me is that all the women we see look so slim, young women. Mm hmm. They were, most of them. Let's see if you recognize any of these men now. <laughs> Charlie Frank Green would be on there. Ed Lester might be on there. But they slip on the ground first night on blankets. Mm -hmm. I forgot how many men had to be in one tent to. But that's what somebody was puffing on the cigarette. That's a dog. That's a yeah, I know that's a dog. But I don't see, I didn't see anybody that looked like Papa and me either. Probably. They said you could see Papa getting on that truck. Well. But those, there's a guard on it. There's National Guard on each side. They told, they call Papa Grandpa. You don't have to get on there. But he did. Now, sure, they're showing the soldiers waiting on you. Did that happen? Uh, we had our team, little canteens, is that yeah. what you call them? And they cooked in garbage cans. Had to, you know, no food. Yeah, ask if they waited on you, though. They were. No, we had to go out and get our food. And they're serving them there. Do you know any of those people? Well, that might be the first night that we used to have. They oh, cooked in garbage cans. And they were stupid Indians. Do you recognize Green. any of the people in the picture then? Girls? I can't well, see enough to tell anything about it. Not really. That right there, one of them might have been. But this right but there. But many ought to no, be on there a dozen no. times. She might be old. There's a little Galloway girl with us from Hogan. I tried to look after her. She was just old enough to go to work. She was Delma Galloway's daughter. But she had dark way down there. I don't see her on the name. Okay, well, all the rest of this is with the men, so we're going to go go back to the girls. Our daddies would our daddy would have been wearing a hat. Now some of those men have on hats, but I didn't see him. Well, that's going back. Looking like when we went on, maybe we was coming home. We come home on the Serving them, food. Must have been right after you got there. My daddy went home for that. Well, I know that. Yeah, we didn't get to no them to come in because hot dogs or something like that. Well, tell about what it was like when you got back home. <laughs> it was heaven. <laughs> they got a. 
a good welcome home. Could you talk about what kind of a welcome you got when you got back? Well, we were glad to get back. Everybody's glad to see us. Everybody went crazy. But now, we didn't, we at home, we didn't know what was going, what was going on, what, then we didn't have any communication. We didn't have telephones and uh, televisions and things back then, so we just sat home and worried about it. I wonder who made this picture. The newsreel company. Do you remember a person with a movie camera there? Taking pictures while you were there? Mm -mm. Probably when my mother still did. Did they well, show I think this? Got about all of it. Did you show this in the movie house there? Mm -mm. No. But we had friction in the church, in town, and mill. Could you talk about that friction? Well, was it well, there were just disagreements. Uh, the man next door done. watched our house like the man next door watched us to see what went on up there. And a man, we called him Grandpa and Grandma mm -hmm. Johnson. And that's right. And there's running night line. Now, wait a minute. You see how close these houses are? Mm -hmm. Well, you can almost hear what goes on in the next house. And the people below set up, well, we've always set up late. If this girl said, all right, she was probably up all night last night mm -hmm. about it. And uh, they reported everybody that came in and out of that house during this time, they would report to the officials because the officials were were fighting the union. They didn't want this uh, uh, place down here the overnight. And it must be. They only can't think of maybe his name for us. Maybe. Burma had a Burma was Burma. Huh? Burma was in Fujiwara, Russia. I think she was. Well, it looks like her. And I can be positive. Is this one down in Japan? I uh, heard no. kicking. Could you tell me a little bit more about those neighbors listening in on you and reporting? Well, Grandpa Johnson was sitting there with his arms folded looking out the window. And, uh, well, who was Nadine before she married? She was Andrews. Mr. Andrews come through the trail, coming from work that night. And he said, you know what? The Zimmerman's out there is having union meetings at the house. He said, well, I've got to guess it's their business. <laughs> now it's supposed to be yours. But that was a different neighbor to the one that reported so much. Yeah. You're talking about the neighbor the across the street. Now, it was the one the below McCurry's us. McCurry's was the one that reported everything. But I think they just stayed up late to find out who I know two men that pulled out, out that got, got off his job. One of them was Harry Barton. Other than was Ed Lester. Ed Lester was secretary. He got an office job. He was the secretary of the union. Mm -hmm. Could you say that again? Ed Lester was secretary of the union. But he quit him. He got an office job. So did Harry Barton. 
Frank William Bruce in the New Testament. No. Okay. Well, after you got back, and after <coughs> there was all this change, how were you treated in the town? Well, I Not any differently that I could see. Mm. I was. They started sending Ruby McCurry out to rest one day. She said, you mean I got to go back and rest? You gonna let Etta Mae Bellin work? The only belonged to the Union too. Well, well, I, I really couldn't. Oh well, the, naturally there was some things said that then uh, you didn't did, didn't do you any good to try to organize or, you know, first one or another would try to argue about it. But I said I think really the union did help because we got better pay and better hours. Yeah, because it organized and, uh, the other men. It was, it was not because we were organized, we never got that far. <clears throat> we, we did have a lot of members. I mean, a, a good percentage of them were of members. Those men had come down here to organize things. But we found out later that uh, the men who were the, at the head of it, trying to organize this one didn't, didn't know that much about the union. Plus, he they took the know. funds that was paid him and skipped with it. So it really was not on the up and up. Homer Welch oh. stayed with it. Tell me about Homer Welch. Well, when we were in Union, they claimed he had a pistol, but he did not. And I don't know. Homer Welch was a good Christian man that believed in in what he was fighting for. So that's the best uh, recommendation I could give Homer. Well, he he was arrested for having a pistol. He had to go to court. Oh yeah, but it he didn't have he died. Well, owned a pistol. Did but you I, tell about tell about your experience in court? Well, all we had to say was he didn't have a pistol because he didn't, and we knew he didn't. Could you describe that day when you went to court? <laughs> Nothing except being up there, letting a lot of us on the stand, all of them become clear, because he did not have a pistol. This was in, uh, where was this, where did this happen? The courthouse was on Vine. While we was in Young. But the, the trial was in LaGrange, was it? No, it was in Young. We went to court in Young. All, all we had, had to say was he did not have a pistol. I don't know if he ever took a pistol. And when did that happen? About a year later, one. No, it well, it was uh, so the last of '34 and the beginning of '35. Between, I'm not sure of the month. So now, after all date. this happened, what effect did this have on the attempts to get a union here? We never got a union here, but they did vote on it years later. Mm -hmm. Did you take part in that vote? Because mm -hmm. I know how Southern turned out. Please don't take my picture on that. <laughs> could, you, could you say, that, tell us that, that what happened after the, after the, uh, all of this happened? What effect did that have on the union? Well, after the men lived, I mean, 
And all those men had left him before, before we quit meeting. They just died down. We never, we never really got away from him. Mm -hmm. But they attempted to organize and celebrate me up. And, uh, I don't know any way to happen. Just look at they, they put those people out, the ones that joined it. We're going to take a rest in just a minute, so we'll get it cooled down. <laughs> Don't make too much noise, sir. Yeah, I think. Yeah. So they made an attempt to organize. Uh -huh. But they didn't. They didn't get organized. Tell me about Tony. Well, he just... This was Herman Talmadge's dad. dad. That Eugene was Talmadge. Talmadge. He was senator at that t at that time, and he made a speech in Newnham, and our That's father was it. there, and the, he brought out the union, you know, and he said he would not send out troops. But Roosevelt was our president, and we that's the first him. time I get. I, well, in fact, I know it was the first time our father had ever voted for Gene Talmadge. But he took him at his word, you see, and uh, went ahead and voted for him. And he sent out, he sent the troops. But uh, now most of these as, as soon as he was announced, you know, governor, he sent the troops out. My, <laughs> our father was, uh, he was a, pretty frank person. He didn't like Gene Talmadge, and after that, he sat down and wrote him a letter. And he even got the dictionary to, to find the vilest, most contemptible thing that he could say to him and send it to him. I told Papa he would never read that letter. But he did. He responded to it. But he, he just said he was glad to hear from him. He wrote him a nice letter back. <laughs> but he really told him off from A to Z. Do you have a copy of that letter? No, I, I wish sometimes that I we had saved mistake. things like that. But we didn't think about ever getting old and all. And what these things would mean to us in the future at that time. Young people don't look to the future too much. And it it's sad when you get to this age and you have so many memories and, and no memorabilia, you know, no anything that is written or recorded. They only uh -huh. have two sons that went textile after thing. Well, Roger didn't finish college, but Charles did. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I heard they selected textile, I said, I'd be ashamed to tell it. But you see, they're well, done well. top of their class. What's happened to them? Well, she has a son in Columbus that is president. He's and president of Columbus Mills, if you know anything and about And instead Columbus. of putting his money in the bank, putting it in to the mill. Well, he's, he's bought in, you know. He's an officer in the company. He, he's done well, and I'm proud of him. But he, he really had, had to work for his education. To go to college. And then the second son came along. He, I would never have dreamed that he'd ever go into textile. I didn't. I didn't dream that of Charles either. I was a little surprised, but he's done well. But if you didn't get a picture of that memorial, war memorial, there's a boy from Hogan for his sign, and it's all four wars. Everybody that was killed in Hogan. In the four wars, their names on it. Have you ever talked to your son about uh, what happened to your sister? 
<laughs> he knows all about it. He knows this girl from A to Z. We do reminisce a lot. And he loves her. As I, I don't know, maybe there's a little difference there, but uh, he loves almost as much as he loves me, I think. And he loved me a lot. <laughs> he would have to to put up with me. Now, when Roger went to Vietnam, you know, he was in the Vietnam War. And when he came back, I don't know why he decided to go into textile, but that's what he did, and he's done well. He never went to college. He was yeah, a good football he... player, but and was offered a, a scholarship at Auburn, but he was in love. And he used uh, the excuse that his daddy needed him at the store. So he wouldn't leave his daddy, you know, to go to college. But I told Boots all the time, I said, he's not fooling me, he's in love, and he's not going that far away. Well, let's go back oh. to the camp a moment. Did did you do any singing when you were there? Singing, talking, a little bit of praying. <laughs> Could you tell me about what you did? Well, they they had those guards around the clock. I told you that, and some of them from the sergeants, two of them from Hogesville. They liked to talk to the guards, but they weren't allowed to talk back to us too much. Well, tell me about the singing and praying. <laughs> well, I don't know if anybody heard me pray, but I was raised in a Christian home. I didn't have to pray out. But I prayed that I'd get home safely, because I didn't know what was going to happen up there. I didn't have no idea how long it was going to keep us. I figured, I thought maybe they'd keep us till <laughs> they broke the Union in Hogansville anyway. But I wish I could remember the two, two men that come down here to organize. How old were you then? Count back from 34 to now, I'm 84. Now, could you remember any of the songs you sang? Well, Don't Fence Men was one of them. <laughs> and uh, some, a few of them was religious songs, but most of them just Don't Fence Country Men. Ballad. I Want to Go Home. Tending tonight on the old campground. That's the first war song. <laughs> There's a rose that grows on the land's land. The ones that knew them, some of them didn't know them. But now they were one older woman from Sergeant and two younger women that I remember. I don't even remember how many there were of us. See, they just counted that as a whole. There's that many women and that many men, but they weren't just from Hogan. They were from LaGrange and Sergeant. There's a lot of joking around. <laughs> well, with when we got to ourselves, but the, I told you that the girls always talked to the guards. They weren't supposed to talk back. Some of them did and some of them didn't. He said there wasn't much joking going on. Yeah, about having to be guarded to go to the Rosiana. So we've got to change tape just a moment. And I'm, then I'm going to ask you if you, maybe your sister can play some of those songs and see if you can sing them. <laughs> My sister can't play anything anymore. I 
about Judy? <laughs> but I bet you could play, yeah. Uh, I doubt whether I remember or not. I came in here the other night and came in. I don't know when I'd ever sit down to this. I don't have the same voice. And my hands are stiff. I used to enjoy playing, but my hands are stiff. I went to 